All right, so in this uh, calculation demonstration, I'm actually going to show you how to, to um, calculate some different efficiency um, and power plant input and output considerations. So when you're done with this lesson, you should be able to calculate efficiency input and output of a power plant. Um, also, we're going to go over how to calculate transmission and, and distribution losses, and also how to calculate a capacity factor um, and use capacity factor and other considerations. So here's our Salem and Hope Creek nuclear generating facility, which is a 2,357 megawatt capacity facility. Okay, so let's do some calculations here. Make this a little bit smaller, more manageable. All right, so remember that um, this is your maximum, so this is your peak capacity. So if we want to figure out the first one here, how many, uh, if it's operating at peak capacity, how many kilowatt hours a day and how many kilowatt hours per year would it generate? Let's do that one. So we start with, um, it's a 2,357 megawatt. Okay, that's your capacity there. Okay, so we just need to multiply times 24 hours per day. And that's going to give us 5,6,5,6,8 megawatt hours per day okay now we need to convert to kilowatt hours so one megawatt hour is one thousand kilowatt hours so that's five six five six eight zero 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 kilowatt that should be a lowercase k hours per day Okay, so that's our first answer, 56568 five, six, um, kilowatt hours a day. If we want to figure out the kilowatt hours in a year, um, we just need to convert days to years effectively here. So let's convert this to notation of 56 point, we'll just call it 568 kilowatt hours, excuse me. Sorry, it's not letting me erase here, so let's just cross that out. So we got 56.568 10 to the 6 kilowatt hours per day. Okay, and then we know there are 365 days in one year. So the answer here is 2.065 um, times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year. Okay, and there is at peak capacity our. Um, kilowatt hours per year okay so let's actually skip to the third one here if it's operating at a 90 percent capacity factor how many kilowatt hours a year does it generate so our capacity factor is our actual output divided by our maximum possible output okay so really it's 90 percent of this so 90 percent of that so 90 percent of the maximum okay so this is going to be pretty, it's, a, it's an easy calculation here. So it's 2.065, it's 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year times 90% or 0 0.9, which is going to give us exactly 1.86 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year, okay? So that is a more realistic number. I mean, 90% is um, a pretty reasonable capacity factor for a coal-fired power plant because it's, you know, baseload. It's, it's operating at pretty full capacity most of the year. Okay, so though with a, you know, 20, about a 2.4 gigawatt cap uh, capacity or 2.4 gigawatt power facility, um, a reasonable assumption you get about, you know, 1.9, you know, 2 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year uh, of output. Okay, so let's get even more realistic here. The average uh, transmission and distribution losses in the U.S. are, are about 8%. That's 8 to 9% is the average. Um, how many kilowatt hours a year actually gets delivered to the end user? So this number is your output at the power plant. Now, you're going to lose about, on, on average, about 8% of that by the time um, it gets to the consumer, and that's just losses along uh, the power lines and in the transformers and so forth. So how much is it? is getting to the consumer so it's remember losing if we lose eight percent that means we are basically um, retaining ninety two percent okay
So we're just going to take 92% times um, our output at the power plant. So it's going to be 1.86 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours times 0.92. So what's actually getting to the end user is about 1.71 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year. And that is approximately what you're going to get to the end user. Okay. Okay, so let's do the last one here. Assuming a 33% efficiency, how many kilowatt hours of energy are input each year into the power plant? So this 33% efficiency, believe it or not, is about the average efficiency for a power plant. In other words, about 67% of the energy in the coal itself is actually lost before it even gets, um, even before it's turned, uh, you know, uh, converted into electricity. So in other words, that heat loss is about 67%. It's a very wasteful, very inefficient process. So anyway, let's look at what the input would be. So in order to do this, this is our classic input-output efficiency. So let's, if you remember the efficiency triangle from the presentation, you have output and input. Efficiency and input, okay? So, what we need is we have the efficiency and we have the output, so we need the input. So, input is output over efficiency. So, we have input and we just need the output divided by the efficiency. So, what we're going to use for our output here is the, um, the amount, well, let's say... Well, we'll do a realistic. So let's do our 90% capacity factor. So let's say this is the, the realistic uh, um, amount of electric energy it's putting out each year. So what kind of input we'd need for that, we just, it's actually, the math is really not hard. It's making sure you have the right number. So it's simply 1.86 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year divided by our efficiency, which is 33%.33. And so that equals, <clears throat> excuse me, our input is going to be about 5.63 times 10 to the 10th kilowatt hours per year. Okay, so that is our input. And you could easily convert that into um, BTUs if you just, you know, if you know the conversion factor between kilowatt hours and BTUs, which is 3,412 BTUs per kilowatt hour, and you actually do this in your homework, um, or excuse me, your lab today. Okay, so here um, hopefully was a, a clear demonstration of uh, given the capacity of a power plant, you should be able to determine the maximum output, okay, and then given a capacity factor, whether it's 90% or, you know, something like natural gas, like a peaking facility might be 10%. Um, anyway, any, any capacity factor, you simply multiply it times the capacity factor. That's going to tell you your actual output over the year. Um, and then if you include T and D losses, you're going to lose, you know, around 8%. And then finally, um, your input, if you know your output and you know your efficiency, you know your input. And incidentally, of course, if you know the output and you know the efficiency, or excuse me, the output and you know the input, then you can determine the efficiency through this equation. If you want to know the output and you know the efficiency in the input, then you can determine that as well. Okay.